Okay. Uh, it's good to see all of you. Thank you for joining us. You know, when we started to plan, how do we talk about this device? It's so different because we were in this world of, we've already revealed it. You know what it is. It's not about surprises and we don't have a live audience. And how do we engage? Should we film it? Uh, should we do it live? And we wanted to do it live. I wanted to be able to connect with you. I wanted to share how grateful I am that you're here, but also share how the team feels about the product they're building and the passion that's coming out of this team. We built this product for Surface fans. There's no question about it. We built it for people who love Microsoft Office, Teams, Outlook. It really does come to life. But it's also for those who use Android apps or mobile apps in general. That was critical, critical to the product. And, but ultimately in building it, it was about productivity and creativity but it was designed to fit in your pocket, which was super important. Like, <laughs> all right, I love this product. I love it. I love it. I think you're going to love it. It's thin, it's sleek. It, uh, it's probably the, one of the sexiest devices we've built. It's got a perfect feel. It feels, you know, it feels premium. Uh, the hinge feels incredible. It's beautiful and it, and it just adapts. Hi everyone. Jasmine and I are excited to be here today and share a little bit about Surface Duo with you. You're in the Surface Labs on the Microsoft campus. This is where we have our teams of designers and engineers work together to make products like Duo. Today, we're gonna to talk about three things. The beautiful displays, the custom 360 degree hinge, and the product's internal dual system architecture. As Panos has mentioned, Surface Duo was purpose-built for productivity from the ground up. Now, one of the first things you'll notice with the product is its vibrant OLED displays. Duo has a custom pixel stack and a proprietary dual display calibration process. That way, the two screens look the same no matter what orientation the device is in. The assembly process has active pixel alignment, making sure the two screens are perfectly aligned across the hinge. We have touch and ink synchronization between the left and right sides, making sure you can drag and drop across apps. Now, these are just a few examples. Creating a seamless experience required us to be able to invent new design and manufacturing techniques that don't exist in the industry today. Now, what really makes a technology magical? is what puts the two incredibly thin pixel sense screens together side by side. And for that, Jasmine's gonna talk a little bit about the design and engineering work from the team on the hinges. Thank you, Pavan. Now, the hinges on Surface Duo are incredible. They join the two sides together, both mechanically and electrically, to give you a full 360 degrees of rotation. And this is why Duo is so extraordinary. As you use it, it becomes this device that adapts to you. And the design draws on our history of innovation in our Surface hinges. We made it to be fluid and effortless to open, yet it still has the friction and stability you need to stop in any position. To do this, we dialed in the gears with watch-like precision and are routing ultra-thin wires between the two displays that carry data, power, and control signals. And all of this comes together in the smallest hinge we've ever created. But the precision design and engineering doesn't just stop there. Pavan? Thank you, Jasmine. That's right. We talked a little bit about the unique dual displays and the custom 360-degree hinge. Now let's go a little bit deeper into the dual battery architecture that allowed us to create the world's thinnest folding device at 4.8 millimeters. Pontus often talks about Surface was born to challenge conventional design and conventional thinking. And we can't challenge convention using off-the-shelf design and components. This is the thinnest Surface we've ever built. And something this thin couldn't be built with existing phone technology, so we had to do more. Duo's design drove us to be able to split the batteries into an asymmetric configuration requiring us to be able to charge and charge balance the two sides independently. The cells on the two halves also power the systems on the two halves and come together to act as one to be able to meet the demands of the processor, especially while running multiple apps. In fact, this dual battery architecture allowed us to create the most dynamic mobile device ever created. That's right. With the ability to run two apps side by side, Surface Duo is the ultimate next wave of productivity. To make these experiences effortless, we designed the device so that all the technical complexity fades into the background and comes together to feel perfectly balanced when you hold it. Our team of human science experts and ergonomists researched how people held and interacted with this new form factor. And this is what enabled us to be incredibly precise about where we placed each and every component to lead us to a device that has the right center of gravity and a custom bumper. So for all the postures that you use, the device comes together and feels perfectly balanced in your hand. We built this product while staying true to our goal of helping you use the best device for the moment and staying productive on the go. Now it's amazing to see how the Surface Duo enhances productivity. When using your favorite Microsoft applications on the go or even accessing text, calls, and even Android apps from your Windows PC. So let me show you how. Now, 
All of you that are working parents who've also been homeschooling children through quarantine will probably sympathize with this. I spent a ton of time inside OneNote uh, during the spring, and normally on a single screen phone, this is the view I'd see. I'd have to skip between sections, look at my notebook, my daughter's notebook. But what I'm gonna do is basically span the OneNote app. As you can see, it really celebrates the fact that we have two screens on the Duo device. And I have now the ability to easily transition between my notebook and my daughter's notebook and also all of the sections in Inside it. And portability works great. Usually we like to hang out in the kitchen and have a family meal together at lunch. Being able to take the device with me, set it down on the counter, and still be on a Teams call while being present with my family has been super important and valuable for me. Now back at my desk, when I'm back on the PC, uh, being able to quickly take notes has been, has been really helpful here. Let me just go back to my notebook. So let's imagine Panos and I have a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, normally, it's really rude when people are on a Teams call to be able to not pay attention to them and take notes. But I normally use my Duo. And notice I use the same Surface Pen as my studio. And I, I'm able to actually easily use the device to take notes. And then, of course, if I want a more immersive mode, all I need to do is rotate my Duo. And of course, these notes roam across all of my devices inside OneNote. Um, let me put the pen back. Oops, there it rolled away. Um, one of the things that's been really stressful for me during quarantine has been the ability to be able to plan meals as well as, uh, you know, for the whole week being able to get groceries for my family. So what I normally do is I use Edge um, as well as my Microsoft to do in order to be able to plan my weekly menu. And so I have a nice, uh, you know, uh, the two screen effort is really great here because I have both my apps working together. It's super intuitive. And if I find a nice recipe, my ability to be able to actually get my shopping list in place is super easy. So let me show you how. I'm gonna just select the ingredients I need to buy from the grocery store. Let's do that. I usually have salt and pepper at home. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto my Microsoft to-do app. And this is perfect because it saves me a ton of time during the week. And if I needed to actually go and cook the recipe at a later time, all I do is set my phone on the counter. My hands are free to be able to make uh, the recipe for my family. Now, despite what you see on Twitter, we do work more than we cook. And one of my most favorite features to start my day is my Microsoft 365 feed on Duo. Panos talked a little bit about it, and I wanted to show you this quick glance view of all the things that are important to me. Now, on single screen phones, switching between apps is super painful. What we've done is broken out the key features out of their silos and placed it into this quick glance view. So I'm able to see all of my meetings. I can join my meeting. I can see my tasks, my notes. I can even see my most recently used documents. This is entirely personalizable and customizable. I have the ability to add Android widgets. And for those of us that are interested we also have news at a glance here. Actually, there's one other thing I do want to talk to you about is in my most recently used documents, I have a PowerPoint app here. So let me just open it inside Office. I open my PowerPoint and I'm going to span it again and just look at this view. For me to be able to get this with a single screen phone, I showed you this with OneNote, with Edge, I spanned the Office app, and this is an amazing view of all my slides. So the ability to do this on Duo is purely magical, and I hope I hope you'll enjoy it as much as it was. It was really a great journey for us to be able to actually ordain all of our apps to take advantage of two screens. It's inspiring, right, what you just saw. I mean, Jasmine, Pav, an awesome job. I, I will tell you this product uh, is something that's near and dear to my heart, but also I think an incredible part of the Surface journey. And a lot of you have been on this journey with us for some time, and I'm grateful for that. I, I've always been grateful for it. I've learned from you. Um, We've gone through quite a bit, but ultimately, um, from the beginning, you know, you've seen us. You've seen us identify an original point of view. Um, we then take that point of view and we've built it into a product and an experience. And it's really been different than anything I think anyone really, really ever did before. We stay committed to that point of view. It's something I'm very proud of. There's a team at Microsoft across all of Microsoft 365 that stays committed to that point of view. It's about refining a vision. It really is. You gotta find that vision. You gotta stick to it. And you gotta stick to it over time. This product has been on a vision just like that. And if you wanna redefine categories, like if you wanna step in, and I talk about the team to the team all the time, if you wanna change the world, you gotta make bold bets. You gotta make bets that no other company, think about it, no other company and what other company would be able to make a bet like this. 
that combination of Android, Microsoft coming together, striking an emotion in people when they connect with technology in a totally different way. I mean, that's what Surface is. That's what we dreamed of. That's what we wanted to create. We're doing that right now with Duo. I believe it. Thank you for being with us on this journey. Honestly, I can't wait. I can't wait till you put your hands on it and I'm going to get these to you as soon as we can. Can't wait to see you bring Duo to life. People are going to create amazing things on this product. They're going to feel differently when they use it and it's going to be transformative to the future of the category in computing. I'm pretty pumped about it. I'm grateful you were here. This product goes on sale starting tomorrow. You can pre-order, people can pre-order Surface, and this is kind of the news so you're aware, but they start ordering it in the U.S. tomorrow through Microsoft.com, AT&T, Best Buy.com, uh, and it's available in people's hands on September 10th. The price is starting at $13.99. I'm pretty excited to see people get their hands on them. And I do want to say again, thank you for being patient. Thank you for being um, just thoughtful. And also uh, from on behalf of the team, uh, I always feel like it's, it's a blessing to be able to just have these moments and, and be able to tell the story of how much we've put into something that we believe in and share it out with you and the fact that you receive it. We are all grateful. So on behalf of Microsoft um, and the Surface team and uh, so many other teams that across Microsoft and even Google that worked on this, I just wanted to say thank you.